again, guys. You know what's nice? If you had a bad day at work, if you're just feeling down, if maybe things weren't going your way, or if you just want to turn off the damn TV because all you hear about is impeachment and this side and that side. Or if you're watching a game and it's a blowout and you're bored. You know, it's just nice for us collectors to come into our card rooms and look around. And you know what I like to do? I like to look at some baseball cards. I like to go through a set that maybe I haven't gone through in a very long time. And that's what I want to do with you right now. And so I have a box here of my 1957 Topps cards. And this set was just loaded with rookie cards, if you're into that sort of thing. A um, lot, of, lot of big rookies in this set. Um, one of my favorite cards of all time is in this set, too, and I'll show you when we get there. But let's, let's take a peek. So we have the uh, Robinson brothers. We have Brooks Robinson and Frank Robinson. Their rookie cards are in this set. Very young Brooks Robinson there. Frank Robinson actually was the Rookie of the Year in 56, but they did not issue him a card. So that's his rookie. We have this great Mickey and Yogi card. I mean, how great is that card? Ernie Banks. Clemente. Mickey Mantle. Ted Williams. I mean, the only real big star that's not in this set is Stan Musial, um, because he wasn't in the league, and uh, he appeared on an all-star card in 58, although not a regular card. I think they added him late in the season when he got back. Willie Mays, beautiful card. Yogi Berra. And the famous uncorrected error of Hank Aaron, batting left-handed. Got Sandy Koufax. And this is another really nice card here. Duke Schneider. This card's so sharp for the grade. Gil Hodges, Andy Carey, that's just a, a great card, Richie Ashburn, really nice card of him too in that, Don Larson, Robin Roberts, in his country slaughter. Let's see what else we have here. Red Shandings. Bob Skinner. Early win. Uh, I'm sorry, Herb Score. Herb Score. Hoyt Wilhelm. Ralph Terry. And Willie Miranda. Tommy Lasorda said he's the best defensive shortstop he ever saw. I guess he was a smooth filling shortstop. And we have uh, Tom Cheney. Um, Jack Meyer, yeah. Name from the past, Bob Boyd. Got Bill Mazeroski's rookie card. It's an autograph, Bobby Shantz. It's a regular Bobby Shantz. It's an autograph, Ray Boone. Don Drysdale's rookie card. Jim Bunnings rookie card. Rocky Calavito's rookie card. 
Bobby Richardson's rookie card. Tony Kubek's rookie card. Whitey Herzog's rookie card. And I do have a lot of doubles of Clemente's in a lot of my sets because he was my man growing up. I idolized him. I had this old beat up Clemente book. I used to read it recess. And I read it so much uh, and it was all wrinkled and beat to hell and back that one day my teacher came up and said, just take it home with you. And I still have that book to this day. <clears throat> Billy Martin, and that's a great one of him. And here's one of my favorite all time cards. Big Ted Klozuski with the bare arms. He dresses like I do. <laughs> Roy Campanella. Vernon Law. Dick Rope. Don Zimmer. This is another card I really love. And this may be the first one I ever got from this set. I think it is, but um, I got this. A Mini Minoso, a Roy Campanella, uh, around the same time. But I think this is the first one, the Warren Spawn. And that's it. That's the one from my childhood. It was in pretty good condition, and I kept it that way. Once cards come into my possession, they don't get any worse than that. That's as bad as they ever get. <laughs> Louis Apparatio. This is another early one that I had. Elston Howard. Bob Friend. Another one of the first ones I ever got. Roy Face. Chuck Tanner. Clem Levine. Frank Thomas. Who is that? Kenny Boyer? Yeah. Jimmy Pearsall. Ed O'Brien. Eddie O'Brien and his brother John, they were on that 1954 card that they share. Pretty cool card. Jim Gilliam. Johnny Padres. Whitey Ford. Joe Adcock. I really like that card for some reason. Hank Bauer. Pee Wee Reese. Dale Long. Don Mossy. I think I already showed one of those. So Magley. Let's go through and show a few more of these. Joe Torrey's brother. And we're gonna we're gonna end it there. So I still got a bunch more, man. All kind of 57s here, and I have uh, not checklisted them. I have not checklisted them, but um, I'm pretty sure I have close to the whole set. <clears throat> I know I always say that. People seem to get frustrated that I don't checklist them, but I mean, quite honestly, I have um, near sets of like, I don't know, 53 through the to like the 90s. So, um, I mean, who has that kind of time to checklist all those? I had them checklisted at one time. I had bought a computer program. And man, I spent like uh, two straight weeks. Every night I entered every card I had. And I had a whole printout and I would print out and it would tell me exactly which cards I needed for the set. And man, my computer died one day. And I lost all that data and I couldn't recover it. And I just got frustrated after spending all those countless hours putting that together. <laughs> Um, I had categorized every single card. 
I mean, my wife thought I was nuts. We I had just gotten married and just dug my cards out, and every night I'm at that computer, and I have boxes of cards, and I'm checking them all off. And fortunately, I had so many near sets that I would just check off the set and then uncheck the ones I didn't have. Because at one time, I had uh, most of my cards in binders and, and numeric order, so it made it real easy. But then later on, um, I wanted to get them out of those binders. You know, they, they bunch up, and I, they're not, they're, I just don't always feel like they're the best protected. So anyway, that's it for now. Hey, thanks for watching again. Appreciate it.